وقبيان تكي بيسوي بس باي أنا أقرا أنا أمسك قضية يا بابا قبيل كي أنا أطلب كي أغض كرفشي كواكي يبي هاي كرفشي دم حسامين هاي قبيال دم حسامين هاي إنها كنت السنان إن المرح بنا أنا ولا قالوا إيو جوري إيو واحد كنا ولا تو إيو واحد برشية عافمة حروت هذه هذه قد هي غير هي بالوحي إن شو رأس يا بابا بعان تاي متشر الله يحفظه الموشي فايف ييرز سان كوسو من استاس موشي فايف ييرز لا فايف ييرز كده بقف كستو الصومالية الصومالي استيت كنا سومالي أو غازيليا. فايف ييرز كتب وانو بالقاضي أنا كي بيجي كأشلة يعذرك يقريانة يقربشك وكيلي. بس أقول لك بس نوصل. لكن شن تاسنا كورس نكي شن تاسنا كورس نكي نصيحة. أنت أنا كي قارن نشير تكبر حين نكي نصيحة لهذا وانقاضي نعم. أنت هاد نكي أتيسن وياي عروت عنا كصيحة. عروت حبك كده. خلاص عن شيء هذا كقاطع. كورس نسي سومالي. مركم ضد كعشرة. إيش هي عشرة دويس؟ إيش هي عشرة دويس؟ إيش اللي في سوام هذا فاصل كسي؟ أشاد كا يوقع بين. كده في سوام هذا واحد لحظة. I'm 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 really extremely frustrated the current political climate in Ethiopia. All my life, I have been hearing war. Again, again and again and again, that's taking place uh, a place called home. I'm hearing Ethiopia's war or Ethiopia's internal crisis or Ethiopia's uh, famine or Ethiopia's uh, displaced refugees or Ethiopian youth dying in different countries, whether it is Saudi Arabia, the Arab countries, or in the middle of the ocean. For, for what? They're all looking for a better life. Enough is enough. To all the people of Ethiopia who are conscious of the current crisis and who want a better future for their next generation. Ethiopia today faces the prospect of entering a period of profound reoccurring challenge and possibility of reaching an unattainable destination. The circumstances that led to this current crisis can be and in, are in fact debatable by both well-intentioned people as well as actors with a, a, a hidden agendas. And for the time being, we will let history identify who started it, what and what is the purpose of this is. But what's clear is that we cannot quietly watch this multifaceted downturn hit rock bottom. We cannot watch young people dying on a daily basis when the grown-ups who have the capacity to sit and have a dialogue chooses otherwise. We cannot watch the future, the future further decline and collapse of the economy when the grown-ups who can end this madness aren't the ones facing the joblessness, is sitting and contemplating other, other issues. We cannot watch quietly the division finds their way into each regional state, tearing apart a society at the core of sown discourse deep within, especially in my region, the Somali region, we're all aware of, by the way, how at the beginning the current administration welcomed Onalef when they took the peace deal, which I was part of it, bringing that peace 
to fruition. We are all aware of the historic nature in how the new regional presidents try to make to facilitate that peace deal. But we have also see how that historic agreement has not been fulfilled by the same administration, by the government of Ethiopia, who did not deliver to their share. In fact, I'm extremely disappointed by the current administration, how they handle it, how they divide, try to divide the people instead of rebuilding this peace. We are also aware of how unequal the Ethiopian political system was. But that is something that we can always debate of, that how every region should get their own share. But what I do have a problem right now is over 2 million Ethiopians are displaced within Ethiopia. Ethiopians are killing Ethiopians. TPLF, which I'm not fond of them, and their political system, which I believe is responsible for whatever is happening to the, the Tigray people. I also blame the current administration, how they're handling this situation. No Ethiopians should die senselessly. What saddens me more than anything else is those who were my colleagues that were advocating together peace, development, democracy, the rule of law, those who promote human rights are the ones that who are right now drumming, beating the drums for war. What we all supposed to be for it is strengthening the democracy of this country, destroying the people's hope will not make anyone stay in power more than they're supposed to be. It's time to rethink where we were and where we're going. And it's time for all parties who are involved in this senseless war to think about what they are doing and how we can resolve this thing peacefully and how we can save lives and build it to be that belongs to all, to my Somali brothers and sisters. Three years you have wasted. Three years you have wasted a good opportunity to build a serious democratic regime and region. Right now, the division, the hate that's happening in the Somali region, in Oromia, in the Amhara region, in Tigray, and many other regions in Ethiopia, in Afar. This is not sustainable. This is not sustainable. And I call on all Ethiopians all Ethiopians who cares about this country, who cares about the people, who 
who cares about the human life and dignity to start voicing their concern. And it's time for all of us to take our shared responsibility that we fail. The, the generation is to come. It's time for us to be grown-ups. It's time for our Prime Minister to think beyond the political system. And to the TBLF, you have done enough before. And it's time for you guys to take the shared responsibility that the pain and the suffering that you caused to all Ethiopians and then come a different strategy and come to the table and have immediate ceasefire for all parties. Thank you.